Hello, my name is John Rose. In this video, I'd like to take a closer look at the allegory of our ship. Imagine, if you will, that our species is like a ship in an ocean, and we're headed for an iceberg, and that the vast majority of us are inside this ship, where most of us don't even know we're in a ship, and those who know we're in a ship don't think that it has a purpose or doesn't have any direction. And some don't think that we're, there's any danger or there's not an iceberg ahead of us. And even if there was, that we couldn't do anything about it. Remember, that's where most of us are. We're inside this ship, headed for an iceberg, totally oblivious to what's going on. And then outside this ship, the four groups, three are running it, and the other one, the other group, are the watchers. They're checking out what's going on. They see what's happening. They see that we're headed for an iceberg. They realize the vast majority of us are inside this ship, totally oblivious to what's going on. And then there are these three groups that are running the ship. Now, one group are just simply the cogs in the wheel. They are totally oblivious to what's going on themselves. They just know how to make sure the ship goes a certain way. They're trained in how to do that, but that's all they know. But those other two groups, those are the bad guys. One of them thinks the ship belongs to them, and they can do anything they want with the ship. And then they hire that other group to interfere with the watchers. These are the shields that we have, are confronted with on the hero's journey. These are the obstacles that we find when we try to get our message out. We see, uh oh, <laughs> big win. We see the iceberg, we see the ignorance. We're trying to educate the people, help them figure out how to come out of the ship and do something about where we're headed. But there are blockers that don't want the people inside to see, so they attack all of the watchers pay attention to anybody who's attacking a watcher and they're going to be part of the problem they're going to be a shield they're trying to block everybody and they're con artists they're liars and they always flip things around they switch it around so you don't know what's going on and very few people are going to get into it to really figure it out that's what they rely on they count on us being easy to con they count on us being lazy and prejudiced which is just too lazy to dig up the facts and we have to be aware that what they will do is when they try to discredit the watchers they say look look at all the other people who agree with me they're they're idiots <laughs> we're not headed for an iceberg and what are you going to have a lot of people are going to agree with you aren't you <laughs> whenever you're on the side of the majority it's time to pause and reflect as Mark Twain would say. It's, it, that's one of the biggest problems with breaking away from the herd. Everyone's doing it. It doesn't seem right not to do it. It's, and it's not easy to break away psychologically. But we have to. We've got to break away from this herd. We've got to turn this ship around. We've got to be the rudder on the rudder. The trim tab to turn our whole species a different direction. Now there's a lot of people who go, oh my God, look, somebody's running the ship. But that doesn't do any good because they never have a good game plan. They may say, hey, we're gonna take control away from these people, but we don't know which way to go, so we're gonna still hit an iceberg. Very few people know where those icebergs are. And the biggest iceberg that put us where we are to begin with is cooking. That's the fall of mankind. If you don't understand that, then you don't know how to turn the ship around. Because the way to turn the ship around is to realize you gotta turn the people inside the ship around. They gotta get reconnected. That's the whole part of being a hero, being the best that you can be. Get outside from that ship. Take control of the ship. Don't let those people who run the ship do it anymore and watch out for the shields they're all over the place they were trying to block anybody who's trying to help us 
So you play a role, my friends, in not feeding into that. If someone's attacking someone who's trying to do some good, consider what the, uh, what the motive is. Why would they be doing that? They have a motive. The people can't control the ship as long as we're, if we come out of the ship rather, the only way they can control the ship is as long as we're inside the ship. So they can't control the ship when we're out on top. We gotta come outside the ship. We gotta get reconnected. And when we do that, that pretty much becomes an automatic. Things will change when our mentality changes. And where does it begin? It starts with most of us with a solid food vacation. As I mentioned in all my videos, there's, or most of them, there's five main mistakes we have to correct. Three ways to do that. A raw vegan diet with an understanding that we still might not get everything we need, so we might have to look at certain level two nutrients. Water fasting, which is not that safe to do anymore. That will correct those five mistakes on a temporary basis. Well, so will a solid food vacation. And that's the only way we're gonna reach the tipping point. Not enough people are gonna be willing to just say, I'll stop eating the wrong food, eat the right food. That's why the solid food vacation is an idea as time has come. And that's why it's time to get excited to share the message Help people every way you can to help us get outside from this ship and turn our ship around so we don't hit that iceberg. So you got to be a trim tab. You got to be a rudder to the rudder. And when you can do that, my friends, your life becomes really exciting and everyone's in for a treat.